7 Tricks That Can Make Your Car Last Longer As impossible as it might sound, not every driver gives much thought to taking good care of their car. But what if you want your car to serve you longer and save some money on expensive service and maintenance? You might want to listen up to these simple yet really important rules. And if you stick around till the end of the video, we'll tell you how you can fix a cracked windshield with, you'll never believe it, garlic. 7. Keep your tire pressure in check. Having the correct tire pressure is a sort of Goldilocks situation. If it gets too low or too high, you can have serious problems. When tires don't have enough air, too much heat is generated inside because the resistance against the road is stronger. If your tires are underinflated even by 2 psi, your fuel economy will drop by 2%. Multiply this by all the miles you drive every day, and you'll be emptying your wallet just to pay for gas. And get ready to shell out more money on the tires because the same tire underinflated by 2 psi will last 4,000 miles less. And if you're thinking, I'll just overinflate my tires and get crazy awesome gas mileage, well, think again. Tires with too much air in them negatively affect the car's drivability and handling. Your chances of skidding, hydroplaning, or having an accident increase significantly. To avoid these situations, check your tire pressure at least twice a month, but once a week is even better. While adding air to your tires, make sure they aren't warm to the touch and don't overfill them. You also have to change your tires in a timely fashion. Don't forget about seasonal tire changes and remember to swap your front and rear tires at least once a year. 6. Take it easy on the gas and brake pedals. Sharp acceleration and abrupt braking might feel like fun, but they're actually extremely harmful to vehicles. They do a number on the different systems in the car. The transmission and engine suffer a lot, and brake pads and discs wear out much faster. Plus, you're just burning more gas than you need to. As for sharp turning, it'll cause balding of the tires. And it goes without saying that you're more likely to get into an accident if you're trying to act like a NASCAR driver. Be careful, please. 5. Park correctly Too many drivers out there throw the car into park before coming to a full and complete stop. You have to avoid this habit because it takes a real toll on the transmission and leads to an expensive repair. The same goes for putting the car into drive or reverse before stopping fully. Don't do it! You should always stop the car completely and only then change the gear. And here's another tip when it comes to parking. Don't neglect your emergency brake. Just because your car has a park gear, that doesn't mean that your emergency brake has no use. And I'm not just talking about for emergency stopping. If you decide to park on an incline, and you should remember that there are almost no perfectly flat surfaces, and put your car in park, it puts too much pressure on the transmission. In rare cases, it can even become dislodged or break down. So the best option is to use the emergency brake. Plus, when you don't use it for long periods of time, the cables connected to it can deteriorate, and it might let you down in an emergency. 4. Don't ignore the dashboard With the help of the symbols on the car's dashboard, your car can tell when something's wrong. Like when the engine's overheated, something's wrong with the electrical system, or the brake fluid level is too low. Go to an auto repair shop as soon as possible to save yourself from expensive repairs or even an accident. If you notice the engine light flashing while you're driving, slow down right away because this might be a sign of a serious problem. The engine light shows any malfunction in the entire management system of the engine. If the light doesn't stop flashing even after you've decreased your speed, stop the car and call a garage where there's an onboard computer reader. The brake light lets you know that somewhere in the braking system something has gone wrong. In fact, this light can indicate a lot of things, like when the emergency brake is on or if you're low on brake fluid. If your oil pressure is low, you'll see the oil light shining. Take it seriously, because if you keep driving with this light on, after some time your engine will literally die. Kaput! Game over!
Low oil pressure might be due to a blocked oil filter or a broken oil pump. Just do not ignore it, whatever the case may be. 3. Don't forget about vehicle inspections and repairs. Cars are like people. They need regular checkups and health tests. Unfortunately, a lot of drivers don't realize this and neglect routine maintenance. But then they're surprised when their car quits on them. Hmm. Keeping up with regular checks and inspections is the best way to prevent an expensive car repair later on. Check your car's manual to find out how often you should change your oil and air filter. And remember that a lot of it depends on your driving habits. And don't forget about checks you can do yourself, like oil level, tire pressure, wiper fluid, and so on. Get yearly inspections and keep in mind that routine maintenance will depend on the season and the mileage. 2. Avoid overloading Weighing your vehicle down excessively does nothing good for the car's suspension, steering, transmission, tires, and engine. Plus, overloading increases fuel consumption and makes the car more difficult to handle. To avoid these problems, you should get acquainted with the maximum load capacity for your car and stick to it. Try to get rid of all the useless stuff in your car. Let's admit it, most of us have a lot of junk in the trunk and random crap in the back seat. Although incredibly useful on an icy winter road, a bag of salt in the trunk will only weigh your car down in the summer. Carry only the things you really need at the moment. 1. Don't overload the clutch. Now some advice for those of you who prefer a stick shift. Don't hold the clutch in at long traffic lights. It just wears out the parts connected to it faster because they're working too much when they actually should be resting. During short stops, shift to neutral and press the clutch right before you start moving. Bonus! Fix a cracked windshield with garlic! Although vampires hate it, lots of people like garlic because of its taste and the aroma it adds to their dishes. But did you know that it also works miracles when it comes to car maintenance? You just need to take a clove, cut it lengthwise down the middle, rub the cut side over the crack, and wipe away the excess juice with a paper towel or napkin. Of course, it's no professional fix, but it'll keep the crack from getting worse until you can get it repaired. Do you know any other ways to help your car last longer? Let us know in the comments below! and help your friends extend the life of their cars by sharing this video with them. If you found it useful yourself and want to see more like it in the future, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to be the first to see our updates, subscribe to our channel and stay with us on the Bright Side of Life!